guys, thank you for watching MRTV. I am Maria, and today we are having meatloaf my way. <laughs> this is just the way I do it. Everybody do it differently. So um, here's what I have here, just some regular hamburger meat, um, onion, Lipton, you know I got to have that, plus this, I'm going to do a half a pack of each one of these because they have a different flavor. And then I have a uh, garlic powder, onion powder, seasonal, pepper, a little more parsley, an egg, and an onion. And then as you can see, I have three different color peppers. I'm putting all of these in there as well after I get them all cleaned and diced up. Okay, so I got the peppers cleaned and I'm only using, you guys, just the tops of the pepper because that's all I needed. And then I got one onion. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead on, get all of this chopped up in my handy dandy dicer that I Tell everybody, please invest in one of those. Okay, so let me get all these chopped up because that's a lot of noise. And then I'll be back to put in the seasonings. All right, I can't remember whether I told y'all I had cheese in that. I don't think I did. But I have some Monterey Kobe shredded cheese that I am going to put on the inside. Okay, so put the egg in there. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a half a pack of both of these in there. That's the onion and the beefy onion. tell everybody you season the way you want to season I don't measure when I cook I just put in and you know I kind of eyeball it and can go from there pretty much this in here this is my favorite home cooked meal meatloaf all the way when I was a child, I loved meatloaf. Well, my mother fixed it with green beans and macaroni and cheese. Okay. So that's that for the seasonings. Here's those peppers. Look at that. Look how nice them came out. They all the same size. You know, and it took me not even two minutes to dice these up. Tell you. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just put that much for now. I try not to aggravate the meat so much so it don't get fit. I mean, tough, but it smells good already. Got one more thing before I get this going. Hold on, hold on. I forgot one thing. Okay. I put that in there. I don't know how I forgot the Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> I'm going to wait till I'm finishing getting this meat together so I can take this glove off. Yeah, I didn't eat all those peppers, so that was good. 
But them peppers give it so much flavor. I already got my oven set to 350. A little bit more of that. Always add just a little bit more after I mix it all in. There's no way I can taste this to make sure it's right, so. One more pepper. No, I know that's enough now. I just know. <laughs> Let me take off this glue. Get this Worcestershire sire. Oh yeah, put that right on up in there. Woo. Oh yes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead on and mix this up in here. And when I come back, we'll be at the pan so I can put it into the loaf to get ready to go in the oven. I'll be back. Alrighty, so we're just gonna separate this meat into two. It's close to even. Y'all probably can see it better like that. To the size as possible. Okay, I got my cheese right over here. One half. to be perfect is yours. Sometimes it make it better when it ain't perfect. Put a little indention right in the middle, just a little. Should be about enough. Get me another glove on so I can do this top. Mmm. The cheese is just going to be in that boy. Marinate. top of there. Tuck that cheese all the way in. My mom always told me to tuck the bottoms down. Tuck these in. I used to always see her tuck that in. If somebody could explain to me why she did this, I would really appreciate it. If you were raised that way as well, there you go. And she is ready to go in the oven. So I'm going to top pop her in the oven. Then I'll be back to get my um, sauce ready for the top. Okay, you guys. So here is my ketchup slash barbecue mixture that I put on top of my meatloaf. and saucy. So that's ketchup 
and some sweet baby rice. Yes. Not as much as the ketchup, but there you go. Okay. Then I put a half a teaspoon, half a tablespoon of butter. Boom. That's it with that. And then I add some brown sugar. Add as much as you like. You might not like your sweet like that with the brown sugar, but I love it. Okay. That is plenty. Now a little quick something. I don't know if anybody else knows, but I'm going to tell you just to help anybody else out. When you close your brown sugar up, make sure you don't have any air in there. Okay no air at all and then on top of that i get it and some saran and some reynolds wrap and your brown sugar will stay soft you know it's not that much work but just in case because brown sugar will get hard in a second. So that's how I store mine. So I'm going to get this mixed up. And then I'm going to put it on the stove. So it can simmer just a little bit to melt my butter. And then I'm going to go ahead on and put it on the meatloaf. I just like to stick the meatloaf in there just for a little bit before I put my sauce on top. And I'll be back. Okay, so I got it on the stove so I can get that metal, the butter melted. But then I forgot, I also add a little bit of black pepper to that as well. Not too much, just a little. So I'm going to just let the butter melt down in this and then I'll spread it on. Alrighty. And I just pour this right over the top. It's gonna fall down on the sides. I need not add any water to the pan whatsoever because y'all know this hamburger meat is going to make enough juice that you're gonna have to pour out because you don't want all that juice. And I like math. And I always keep a little bit too. On the side. Wanna add some more. Alright. Now I'm gonna throw it in the oven for about I don't know. Depending on how fast it's cooked. Okay. Alrighty. About 35 to 45 minutes, something like that, maybe. Alrighty. It's time for me to get my corn on the cob and the water. That's some pretty corn on the cob, too. Boy. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Ooh, it's all golden. Yellow. Mm -hmm. So I'll let that cook for about three to four minutes, and it'll be done. Okay, you guys, it is out. Let's see what it's looking like here. Mm -hmm. Looking rather juicy there. I don't know if I, you know what? I'm going to put it on a plate and then I'm going to show y'all. I'll be back. That one piece just don't want to act like There you go. <laughs> I just didn't want to act right at all, y'all. And I like the end piece. piece 
on here as well that broke off. But it's extra juicy and moist. dinner for Friday night. Look how juicy it is. Ain't nothing dry about that right there. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing today, make sure that you subscribe. Hit that notification bell for upcoming videos. Get us with a thumbs up, like, and comment. Until next time, have a blessed day. Bye. Mm -hmm.